fields of research. My name is Nicole Hiller and I will be your hostess for today's program. The topic of my research was the effect of sales promotion tools on consumers' purchasing decisions. We wanted to examine how these promotional tools persuade consumers into switching brands, products or stores. As well, we wanted to examine how consumers react after the deal is retracted. Are they going to still buy the same product or brand that they switch for just a deal or they are going to back they are going to go back to a regular product? Are they going to go back to a regular stores or just stay in the new stores? That's what we want to answer in our with our research. First of all, I want to start with a little bit of background on sales promotional tools. And also I want to mention the specific self-promotion tools that we include in our research. As, as well, I will summarize some of the research that have been done in the past and what research has, uh, has mentioned as advantage and disadvantage of self-promotional tools. So self-promotional tools are effective are effective strategies used in order to increase product demand, consumer demand, and store reputation. These strategies have a short-term effect on consumers' attraction. And when the deal is over, a lot of consumers return to their common brands, stores, or products. So they only switch when the deal is on in order to take advantage of the price discounts, the bonus, the, the reward points, or the air mile points. The type of self-promotional tools that we include in our study were in-store special, coupons, free gift, lo loyalty reward programs, and scent of deals. Like you can see here, we have the space for our, loyal, our different self-promotional tools that include coupons, uh, in-store special, scent of deals, loyalty reward programs, cards, and free gift. And the first self-promotional tool that we included in our study was coupons. We wanted to see how many participants were persuaded by coupons. This is an example of different coupons that come to your house from, for fast food restaurants and you can save some money when you purchase it. For example, two hamburgers for eight dollars that you can see here and they are really like colorful and appealing and you see the, coup the, the two hamburgers and you get angry hungry so you will order hamburgers for sure. Another type of coupons are the ones that come in booklets and are for like supermarkets or uh, pharmacy stores like London Drugs and it comes coupons inside this booklet for saving money in any of your purchases in the store. The second type of self-promotional tools that we use was loyalty program cards. Each supermarket have their own loyalty program card. For example, save on food, have save on more rewards. With this you can collect points and this will also help you to pay less on your purchases. Here we have another type of, of loyalty program card and this one is the one for save with, save with club card. You can see it here. Here we have also our air miles card. This is another type of reward card that consumers use when they purchase products in supermarkets. These air mile cards say, help you like save some points so in the future you can plan your, your dream vacations and go to it. Our third type of self-promotional tools that we use was free gift. As you can see here, like customers when they go to a store they want to purchase a bottle of alcohol they can get an, another one for free, a small sample and this motivates them to complete their purchases because they get something you reward. And finally, or for example, you get like you buy one t-shirt and you get one t-shirt for free. As well, our last self-promotional tools that we include in our study was scent of deals. Like scent of deals, it includes like the price reduced on the package of the product. It comes here in the package so the consumers can see it and, and wants to buy it because they see the discount price. And this is what attracts them. And also, before I forget, Another type of self-promotional tools that we use is in a store special. That type of self-promotional tools is not on 
we cannot present it here because it's just inside the store. Customers walk from aisle to aisle and then they can see uh, there is a space for these in-store specials where they have the products in, in discount um, with a huge sign that attracts really visible and consumers will see it and will feel attracted to them. And sometimes they can buy in bulk uh, because, for example, a Sprite is in discount so they will buy one or more of a Sprite so they can save as much money as they can. Consumers are always looking for deals. They are always trying to sell money and self-promotional tools is a good way to attract them to save their own money. Now, we will summarize some of the research done in the past about self-promotional tools. Researchers like Dodson, Dibut and Sterndahl in 1978 examined the effect of promotional deals on brand choices. Also, they examined the effect of deal retraction on brand switching and brand loyalty. The results show that self-promotional tools can increase the demand on the specific product, but they can negatively impact the loyalty, because some people will just switch from product to product in order to take advantage of the deal, so this will affect their loyalty. Other authors, like Kumar and Leon, 1988, Examine the effect of retail stores promotions on brand and store or brand and store substitution. The authors, the authors with in their research found out that the price promotion deals, featuring and display activities are a really big persuasive tool for consumers. These tools make consumers substitute brands, stores, and products in order to take advantage of the promotion. As the previous authors. Uh, Dodson, Tibut and Sterta, Kumar and Leon also determined that self-promotional tools are activities that play an important pro promotional tools are, or activities are important and play a really key role in consumers purchasing decisions. Most consumers base their decisions on promotional tools, especially students. Uh, in the University of Lethbridge, students have a specific budget in which they just make uh, their purchases and for that reason they are not that much brand loyal they just try to save as much money so now I will pass it to my my colleague Maggie Zhao the interviews for today's program and she had one of our invited volunteer students of the University of Lethbridge to make him some couple of questions here is Maggie hello everybody uh, here we have our Yep, I have a club card for Safeway, and I also have an Air Miles card because I think it's an excellent idea to be able to save up miles and eventually get a trip out of just buying groceries. Okay, so how often do you use coupons? Uh, I try to use coupons all the time because it's a really easy way to save a lot of money, and I know a lot of people are say it's time consuming to cut out the coupons and all that stuff, but as a student, it's one of those easy places where you can save quite a bit of money, so I don't think there's any excuse. Um, yep. Yeah. Actually, every time we go to Superstore, the first thing we do is we go to the big coupon board to see if anything on there is on our list. So before we even get in there, we can see if we can get some deals. And whenever we get, like, the two-for-one from McDonald's and stuff like that in the mail, we usually use it up really quickly, too. Okay. Do you ever buy a product because of it? Free Absolutely. Um, like the deals where you get, like, a 12-pack of... Bud Light or whatever, and you get like a shirt or a hat or a poster, we always go for that whenever we get the opportunity, and it definitely sways our decisions on what we buy. Okay, so would you switch from one of the products you buy in order to get a free, get a free gift? Absolutely. It's, it's fundamental as a student, again, that you try to save money where you can, and if you can get a free gift from buying this instead of that, then I think it's absolutely acceptable. Okay. 